Hi and welcome to Otters TV. My name is Ben Garrett. You may not rec recognize my face. I'm the clubhouse manager for the Evansville Otters and I thought, hey, we see Zane Clodfelter here as the interviewer on Otters TV every single day. It's about time Zane gets some recognition and he gets an interview himself. We get to learn a little bit more about the person that's doing the voice and doing all the talking here at Historic Bossy Field. You pass the phone over to my uh, my partner in crime. I'm Ira Stasi, visiting clubhouse manager for the Otters. So, uh, Zane, what do you say we interview you? That works. Let's right. do it. I'm, here. I'm yeah. ready. Right. Let's do it. I'm ready. As you can tell, this microphone is just for props. But hey, this is the legendary <laughs> Zane Clodfelter microphone. <laughs> Let's start this out. Zane, how long have you been working here at Historic Bossy Field? It's my eighth season. So 2011, but I started in June. So the first month, somebody, it was Blake Nelson, did both PA and MC duties. He had to go to a wedding. They asked me to fill in. And then after I did that one game, Liam Miller, the GM at the time, said, do you want to come back for the rest of the year? And I have been here ever since. So thank you, Liam. Thank you, Liam. Zane, that is one heck of a story. Probably <laughs> one of the greatest hires in Otters history. I mean, if you've been to a ballgame, you've heard this voice. <laughs> Fantastic. Zane, throughout all those years, you've seen ballgames since 2011, now to 2018. Favorite moment here at Historic Bossy Field? Man. The easy answer would be winning the Frontier League Championship Absolutely. in 2016, Game 5. Hunter Ackerman. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that, I think, is 1B to my first game here. It was against Southern Illinois. It was a Saturday night home game. There were over 4,000 people here. I didn't know I was going to get that opportunity because it had rained the entire day. But by the grace of God, yep. around 5 o'clock it cleared up, started game. the game on time. Yeah. And so that just that first game, the opportunity to sit in this press box, I thought I was only going to be here for one game. So I tried to soak every bit of that moment in. And then when Liam asked if I wanted to come back, it was just, I was euphoric. Wow. And hey, as you've always called it, God's country here in Evansville, Indiana. Preach. That's a, that's Preach. a Zane hashtag right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and let's just add to it. Favorite moment. Let's go. Favorite player throughout all the years. You've seen hundreds of players come through Bossy Field here. Any of them just stuck out? You enjoyed watching them, enjoyed their men t men mentality, their attitude on the ball field. Anybody stick out? That's hard. I hope not. I really like John Schultz. I mean, John Schultz was here for five years, so yeah. for a while, I would forget what his actual first season was. I think it was, what, 2013? 2013. But it always felt like John Schultz and I had been here for the whole ride together because once we started having success, going to the playoffs, contending, he was all a part of that. And so probably John Schultz. Josh Allen, though, his family, they're, they're fantastic. Absolutely. Oh, in double-A right now, too, by yeah, the way. Yeah, in double-A, I'm just... Luke Rennie, too. I, I really appreciated Luke Rennie because... Uh, I could talk IU football with him mm -hmm. because his dad was an IU grad. So, yeah, there's there's so many to the list, but I would say John Schultz, Josh Allen, and Luke Rennie. Great names, great names, great clubhouse guys. All right, Zane, got a good one for you. Oh. What is your what is your favorite part about being able to work at Historic Bossy Field? Hmm. Hmm. Adapting to the ballpark because we have a lot of things that newer ballparks do not have. And so I kind of consider myself more well-versed because I've worked here because yeah, everybody can use the new bells and whistles that are found in a modern ballpark. But it, it, I think it takes a special person and a special group of people, all of us, mm -hmm. to really adjust to the resources that we have. And there are just some resources with the way the ballpark is built, designed, that we just don't have. So mm -hmm. I think we're all well-versed, wow. you guys as well. Thank you, Zane, thank you. And hey, let's take that question just a step further. I mean, with the great new additions to the technology here and with the media relations at Historic Bossy Field, you've seen the new video board, you've been to any recent games, all the different unique graphics and whatnot. Uh, how would you like to take that a step further even to make the fan experience even better at Bossy Field? Well, I'm fortunate. In 2017, I helped develop Otters Digital Network. Jacob Lutz did a great job in helping fire that up. Preston Leinenbach as well. We had a lot of help and collaboration with the University of Evansville. So really, before 2017, all we had to stream games was just a security camera that hovered over home plate, which you couldn't see either first or third base. So if you hit a shot down the line, you had no idea where it went. So all of those guys were just phenomenal. I, I had preached the idea and 
begged for a, a digital network type streaming service for a couple of years and we finally made it happen last year because of Jacob and Preston. I would love to see maybe a score bug in the future and I know as we keep going on, Preston continues to do a good job and kind of implementing that technology. Yeah, it's a 103 year old ballpark, but there are a lot of things in this press box that are relatively new and we can really utilize that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> Stodge, do you have any more questions? All right, Zane, I got another good one for you here. We don't want to get anybody's feelings hurt, so we won't say your favorite, but who would be uh, one of your uh, favorite coworkers or uh, interns, staff members who you've mm -hmm. worked with Absolutely. over the years here, at, uh, here for the Otters? Good question. Preston, Hold Preston, that microphone a little closer. Preston's, Preston's, <laughs> Preston's looking at me here. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say two names here. Okay. Uh, when I started in 2011, Mike Radomski was here. Yep. And Mike Radomski was an incredible personality. Mm -hmm. um, rock it could, the planet. Yeah. Rock. Hashtag Rock the planet. And, and I'll I'll preach that forever. You would come to the ballpark and you were having a bad day and Mike would get the sense that you were having mm -hmm. a really bad day. Mm -hmm. So he would do whatever he could to kind of lift your spirits. See, one time I had a bad day at work, he gave me a hug. I, I don't know if I wanted the hug at the time, but thinking back, I was grateful for that hug. So Mike Radomski, sitting just a couple seats away from him in the press box, that really meant a lot to me. Uh, just to get to know him. I. <laughs> I took him to his first Cardinals game at Bush Stadium. Wow. I took him to IU football games, and he would take his camera and take pictures of everything just to document the memories. And so after he passed away so tragically last year, I went back on his Facebook and kind of looked around, and I saw all those pictures and those photo mm -hmm. albums, so you know how much he appreciated the gesture of, of being able to go to a Cardinals game or an IU football game. And I will also say Preston Leinenbach. Is, is my one. And, and I, I on do, the camera. Yeah, on the camera, yeah. Baby. Preston's on the camera. I do that because one, he he does record a lot of our Otters TV segments, but he was my first hire here. So last year, as the great hire, yeah, so great hire. You know, this year I'm the media relations manager, but last year I was the communications manager, and I was tasked with finding what we called quote unquote a new media intern. And Preston had reached out to me about another opening. I said, hey, we we. That opening isn't there, but I'm gonna have a new media intern if you're interested. He said, absolutely. So schedule an interview. It was in the uh, it was in the press box. Jake Riffert was also there, so it was Jake and I interviewing exactly. Preston. Yep. Preston came in this immaculate suit. I tell you, what, no, this this was fantastic. And my favorite thing is Preston. We were sitting at a table, and I was, you know, wearing an otter's pole. I was kind of laid back, had my legs crossed like this. Preston said the entire interview with his hands like this. <laughs> and just after the interview was over, Jay Grifford asked, well, how'd you, how'd you like the interview? I said, oh, I liked it. He's like, do you want to interview anybody else? No. No. Wow. So I interviewed wow. one person, it was Preston, and then Preston, look, now he's the uh, director of human. Yeah, he's been here ever since, so I, I wrapped him into the cult. Hey, <laughs> too. what a guy and what a cult for any of you future Otter employees out there. Yeah. Stas, any more? I think that I think pretty well covers it. Covers I, think that, I think that wraps it up. Zane? Thanks, thanks for, for having me. No, this you, is Zane. great. Thank you. Enough. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All the way from Marv Bates to Zane Clotho. <laughs> oh, yeah. The voice <laughs> at Bossy Field. Oh, my Field. goodness. <laughs> Folks, come out and catch our next game here in a week. You'll see Zane Clogfelter, hopefully Preston Leinenbach, and join us as Otters look to cap get another victory here in 2018. Zane, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs>